show is all about TV stars. My next guest CNN show ends tonight after 25 years on the air. Take a look. I'm incredibly proud that we recently made the Guinness Book of World Records for having the longest running show with the same host in the same time slot on the same network. With that chapter closing, I'm looking forward to the future, what my next chapter will bring. But for now, for here, it's time to hang up the nightly suspenders. He's a great guy and a towering intellect. Please welcome the one, the only, Larry King. <laughs> Absolutely adore you. I, I, now I, you told me. <laughs> you know I always do. So now tonight is um, your uh, last show, and uh, and how are you? How does that make you feel? Because well, 25 and a, now 25 and a half years is a long time. So the feelings are mixed. I I, I I was speaking in Montreal and someone asked me, "How do you feel about leaving?" I said, "It's like." It's mixed emotions. You of know. course. I'm looking forward to new things, but it's sad. It's sort of like... Saying goodbye. It's sort of like watching your mother-in-law go over the cliff in your new Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> you are what I consider to be an intellectual giant. And uh, I know that, you know, there must be many, many things that you have been wanting to pursue as a professional that you simply couldn't because you were so, you know, behind the desk. I've all, I, throughout my career, I've always spoken at conventions. And I, I, I like to do some stand-up. Uh -huh. I'd, like I'd, like I'd like to do s kind of specials that we haven't been able to do on CNN. On CNN, but in different perspective. I'd like to change, you know, I'm a young 77. <laughs> God bless you. But I'm you. still, you know, I'm a... We've done, you know, charity events together, of course. He has his own uh, charity, which is the... Uh, Foundation. Yes, the Cardiac Foundation, Larry King Cardiac Foundation. Every single time, he always has the most funny and amazing stories to tell. I love making, you know, there's no, you, you've had it in your life. There's nothing better in my life than making people laugh. I, I tell you, when you stand on a stage, a comic has something nobody else in show business has. I'd have been a comic if I didn't fall into radio and television. Isn't that fantastic? Because when you stand on a stage, no one can help you. You don't have music, can't sing a song. There's the audience and there's you. And they're saying, make me laugh. And when you can make them laugh, it's better than sex. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Larry, uh, I mean, it's no secret that you've been married many times. How, how many times have you been married now? Six times. Six times. Okay. But I see, I don't think that's weird. I don't have any regrets. I have some wonderful children. No, you children can't have for, regrets in you life. You can't ever, you know, I mean, I would like to have had the perfect relationship. I have a wonderful relationship now. It's been 13 years. That's a record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always amazed at people who are married for 50 years. It so, all right, is Here's why it amazes me. What you like at 20 is not what you like at 30. It's true. And when you like at 40, do you ever meet, like, an old girlfriend or an old boyfriend that you liked from high school? Right. I'll tell you a quick story. First girl I ever loved. I was ready to kill for this girl. <laughs> I was 18. She was 18. Oh, I'd have married her if my mother wouldn't let me. Oh, killed for her. Now it's 10 years later, and I'm on the air in Miami, and I'm kind of getting to be kind of a big shot, got radio and television. She calls me up. She says, Larry, I'm in Miami. I'm married now. I got a, I'm married a doctor. I got two little children. Could we come and see your radio show? All right, I know she's coming. I'm nervous. <laughs> this is the girl that I would have killed for when I was 18. Now it's 10 years later. I tell my producer, I can't wait till she walks in this room. I wonder how I'm going to feel. I love... She comes in she, with her husband, two children. Here's the girl. Lammy, it's so nice to see you, Lammy. <laughs> you're, you're so successful, Irving, <laughs> and Larry, <laughs> about our children. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have killed for her. 
That's what they say. You can never go home again. You can't go home again. Okay, well, coming up, the woman who called the shots behind the scenes on Larry King Live. Wendy w Walker Wendy. is next. I'm excited. <laughs> we'll be right